we brew lots of different beers uh, and we, we basically try and serve them fresh and make an experience of it in the tap room so it's quite a popular tourist destination uh, and thankfully things have gone pretty well in our first 20 months we've expanded four times so we've quadrupled our production and we won quite a lot of awards for our beer including this year we won the overall best beer in the northeast of England so that's uh, through Seaver so we've got a, a few awards at the back of the bar from, <laughs> from the latest competition so we're really pleased with that things have been going pretty well so the new beer we brought out well, about nine months ago we met a, uh, an Italian brewery called Esprigo so we met a guy called Gabriele who owns the brewery and um, we, we basically got chatting to him tried some of his beers really liked them he tried our beers and really liked them this is while he was on holiday in York uh, and then we said that next, next time we get the opportunity it would be good if we could brew together so um, he happened to be visiting uh, New York in September this year for the uh, Canberra Beer Festival so um, he came down to visit us while he was here we brewed this beer together so the beer is called uh, Better Latte Than Never so a bit of a cheesy pun in there but it's uh, basically an Italian coffee infused beer so we like to use um, lactose in quite a lot of our beers it gives you a nice residual sweetness to the beer so this is called a milk stout so it's a nice um, it's, a, it's a nice dark beer but with a creamy milky aftertaste um, and then we've infused it with Italian um, coffee beans in the fermenter so it's got a really nice um, like a, a milky latte type taste to it so uh, we're really pleased with it we've just been working our best at the moment to try and export it across to Italy to get some to, to Gabriel but um, there's lots of hoops to jump through so we're almost there we're almost about to get some out to him so um, we've, we're ready to launch the beer so we've got it we've got it on sale at the moment in the tap room coffee's quite popular in beer um, Lee um, our head brewer and my business partner isn't a big fan of coffee on its own but he's really growing in, into um, enjoying coffee beers I've always loved coffee beer so I've been keen to produce one last year last Christmas we produced our first one which was um, an eggnog infused milk stout so we used coffee beans in that for the first time which got a really nice flavour so we always wanted to do a, a dedicated coffee beer um, and this was a good opportunity to do so so we, 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 um, we, we sourced some, some really good quality um, Italian coffee beans and used that in the uh, production so I, think it's, I think it's just something different not everyone people traditionally think of um, beer as your, your, your traditional bitter that you, your dad used to drink and uh, people always associate that flavour and taste with, um, with beer when it's not necessarily the case there's so much you can do we've probably brewed 50 different beers in the last 20 months the, the, the beer drinker of today is quite um, promiscuous really they like to try different flavours, try different things and uh, the, it's up to the breweries to try and meet that demand and we like to do that we enjoy brewing we don't we don't want to just brew the same beer time and time again we, we, we kind of do that because we have a core range which we try and brew um, have, always have available but we like to brew the type of beers we want to drink so uh, we like to experiment with flavors and see what we can come up with